Hello, thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel today. I'm going to be going over how to do a wire wrap for crystal pendant. Here I'm showing you the types of wires that I've used. I'll be using in this video. The wires are a 16 gauge and a 24 gauge. And I'm now showing you the pliers that I'll be using. This is a wire cutter. The pink are wire cutters. The blue are pointed uh, pliers. And these are round nose pliers. And these are the tools I'll be using. Also, if you're a beginner, using pliers with a plastic coating can help you not destroy your copper wire. And these are crystals. I'll be using a tumbled crystal because those are the hardest to wrap because they're a little slippery because of the tumbling process. What I like to do is pick crystals with a flat back or edge to them. And that helps me um, with the tumbled crystals. This 16 gauge wire is going to be the wire that I use to um, wrap my, cop my crystal in. And I like to get about three to four um, lengths of the crystal wrapped around the crystal of the wire that will be wrapped around the crystal. I'm taking my wire cutters here and I'm clipping the length off of the roll that I'm going to use. Now I'm going to simply straighten the wire. You don't have to do that, but Okay, so now this is the 24 gauge wire, which will be my support wire, which I will weave through the crystal and the 16 gauge wire. I like about four times the amount of that, of the 24 gauge wire. Now I'm going to wrap the crystal with the 24 gauge wire. I like to go um, towards not the middle of the wire. See, these are very slippery, these crystals. But towards the end and leave a little space, but not towards the middle. You want to go down towards the um, end of the wire, not the middle. So you want to use about three-fourths of the wire at the three-fourths part. Now I'm going to shape the wire by going around the crystal generally as you can see like I said it's really slippery you have to kind of remember which side you started um, laying the crystal on when you started uh, bending the wire so that you can maintain the shape I hope this is makes sense and again this is me just shaping the wire and just trying to get it in there so that I can use this wire I'm gonna start over again All right, reshaping the wire around the crystal. You don't want it to be too tight. You just want it to be a loose shape, not too loose, but loose enough for, so that the crystal can go in and out of the wire. That's me dropping the crystal for the 300th time, which you will do <laughs> as well. All right. There we go. We have a loose shape. Now I'm going to take the shorter part of the wire and wrap it around at the top and make sure the crystal can still fit into the wire, go in and out, and it can. Because once I wrap this around, it's going to make it tighter and I won't be able to put the crystal in if I make it too tight. Okay, so that's what you're seeing me do here. Now I'm wrapping that around and this is what you're gonna have here. You have the loose crystal shape with the wire and that's what you're gonna start with. And now this end, the small end, I like to do what I call a Kundalini 
rap. <laughs> Bear with me, y'all. This is my first tutorial with these. And while I'm adept at doing this, I'm not adept at talking about it. Um, I probably could better show you. So I'm going to take the round nose pliers. And I'm going to take that end with the little bit of wire. And I'm going to shape this into a S like a snake along the back edge of the wire wrap for the crystal. See? You can use your hands. You can use your um, wire, um, the pliers. It really doesn't matter as long as you get this S shape in the back. And you'll see what I'm doing. I'm trying to make sure that it covers the edges around the crystal and it doesn't go outside around the crystal it can go outside of that but for this wrap i don't want it to do that and then i'm going to tighten it up at the end there with the loop i'm just going to straighten it out with my flat pliers because it's bent a little and you see how that is. I'm just going to make sure it's in the frame of the crystal. And that is the base framing for the crystal. I'm going to leave this extended. And now we're going to make the loop for the pendant. All right. And that Just take the around those pliers and do that now i'm going to wrap it around i'm sorry i'm out of frame here a little bit but you'll see exactly what i was doing <laughs> but i don't want to do it all the way i'm just going to do it a couple of times because if you do it too tight you won't be able to get the crystal in because you'll be wrapping the top of the crystal now i'm going to insert the crystal into this wrap to make sure that it measures the way I want. And the flat side is going to be towards the Kundalini S. And the bumpy side is going to be towards the front. Because that wire is back there. I want um, not too much space in between the wire and the crystal. So I use the flatter side on this side. And this is something I came up with myself after watching... 2 billion wire wrap videos, it felt like, and not being able to do it the way that other people did it. I was able to master a couple of them, but I didn't really like it, and I wanted my own style, so this is my own style, and I call it a kundalini wrap. And as you can see, it's enough crystal in the front, and it's still a flat edge in the back so that the kundalini wrap can fit in the back and not, um, it's not being pushed out by the crystal, you see? All right, so now I'm going to get my 24 gauge wire, which is the lighter wire, which is my support wire. And I'm going to basically weave, y'all. This is just if you've ever sewn or crocheted or anything with a string and a needle, um, this is all I'm doing. I'm applying the same techniques that I apply to sewing, to crocheting in this um, technique here. I'm going to put it, put the 24 gauge wire in between the crystal and the um, 16 gauge wire and wrap it around and through. Make sure that it can fit. Right here, I usually, and I think I do do this, take the, wire, the crystal out because I know it can fit into there. And I'm going to wrap that around and make it really good about five to six times using the flat nose pliers pulling it through, making sure that it's tight and that there's no space in between.
So you can see it's coming together. I am nearly done um, wrapping the front of this piece. Um, just going through the back a few more times to make sure that it's stabilized. You want to make sure that it's stabilized on all corners, you know, all the way around. And as you can see, I am nearly um, complete and I'm showing you that I just want to make sure that I don't leave any of the crystal out on the front. And I'm just trying to figure out how to make this pattern work the best and stay in pattern um, through the back by going through the back and then moving back to the front over and over again. And that's literally all you're doing is weaving this uh, wire in and out and stabilizing the crystal into the frame of the framing wire, which is the 16 gauge wire. And then, of course, creating the pattern that you want on the front. All right, showing you the pattern, how it looks before I do anything to it. And I'm nearly done. Now I wanna, you know, make sure that because all of this is connected to this one piece, that this piece is really uh, secure on the back of this wire and that it doesn't come loose. So I'm basically gonna weave this in and make it as tight as possible so that the crystal or the wire doesn't come loose. All right, so now that that's done, I still have this wire in to wrap around the top of the crystal and just gonna Take this and wrap it as tightly as possible around the top base of the crystal with your fingers. Just using your fingers, just really tightly wrap it just like that. Yeah. Until there is no more. And then this last little end, you're going to tuck it. Uh, I cut like a piece that was like hanging off of there to make it neat. You can foul this down if you want, because but because I tuck this and it'll never touch the person and the person will never touch it, I don't foul at this point. But if you're going to leave it where the person can touch it, you might want to foul it down. So now I'm going to take the flat pliers and just tuck it in under the, the base of that. And if you are new to this, using these coated pliers will help you not damage the copper wire and leave any dents or dings on it while you're doing that. And that's what I'm doing because of where I'm trying to put this wire. 
I want to make sure I don't damage the wire while I'm tucking it. And now that's done. Still a little bulgy. Now I'm filling it just to make sure I can't feel anything. And that is done. And now I'm going to take my flat pliers and shape <laughs> the starburst on the front of the crystal. I'm sorry I didn't realize my hair was this much in the frame. I pray to get better at doing these videos. I just wanted to show that it's not that hard, but you'll see what I've done in just a second. Okay, so now I'm done, and that's what we have. It's a basic wire wrap on a tumbled crystal with a starburst pattern on the front. And there you go, a better look at it. As you can see, it's secure. It's so here's the wrap, and I've finished. I hope this makes sense, and help someone i'll get better at doing these videos thanks if you've made it this far into this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe talk to you later